There are new developments this morning in the case of a man who spent decades behind bars convicted of a crime he didn't commit. Ken Ireland will go before the state claims commissioner to ask for $8 million in compensation for that wrongful conviction. News 8's Ken Pierce is live this morning in News 8 Control with details of this case. Good morning, Ken. Good morning, Chris. In 1986, Barbara Pelkey was murdered in Wallingford. In 1989, Kenneth Ireland was convicted of killing her. He then spent more than 20 years in prison before testing of DNA found at the scene determined another man actually killed Barbara Pelkey. News 8 was there back in 2009 when Ireland was released from prison. A year later, Ireland filed an $8 million claim with the state. Today, he goes before the state claims commissioner. But the question is, how much is 21 years of his life actually worth? He says he was abused and assaulted in prison, even losing part of a finger in the violence. He spent some of his time in solitary confinement and another five years far from home in a Virginia prison because Connecticut's were too crowded. By statute, this claims commissioner is supposed to take all that physical and mental suffering into account, as well as the loss of earnings and familial relationships. Seven years ago, James Tillman got $5 million for wrongly serving 18 years in prison, but that was before Connecticut had a statute about these things. As for Barbara Pelkey's murder, the DNA at the scene led to the conviction of Kevin Benefield. He's now the one behind bars. Live in News 8 Control, I'm Kent Pierce.